Hello everybody, this is Manator Prime and here I have the Transformers Generations figure, Rhinox. And this is a very nice figure that was released in the year 2014. As you can see on the package we have a nice art graphic design of this figure and we have the figure transformed into its robot mode. We also have the thrilling 30th Transformers Anniversary logo. On the bottom side of this box we have a picture of Double Dealer. On the side there's nothing here. On the other side we see where it says Maximals Series 02. On the back side we have another picture of Rhinox transforming into his beast mode and into his robot mode. We have a BIOS for it and the technical specification for this figure. And it reads Strength 9, Intelligence 6, Speed 3, Endurance 9, Rank 5, Courage 9, Fire Blast 6, Skill 6. Now let's rotate this box around and let's get this figure out of the box. And here we have Rhinox out of the package. And this figure is part of the 5th wave of Transformers Generations Voyager class figures released in 2014. And actually this is a brand new mold that they made for this particular figure. As you can see he comes with his twin Gatling Guns of Doom that are also named Chain Guns of Doom. Rhinox is a maximal from the Transformers Beast Wars series released back in the late 90s. This character is intelligent, massive and strong. He is quick and decisive in a crisis, but slow and steady in battle. He could lead the Maximals if he wanted, but he doesn't. He prefers to sniff the flowers. He considers Raptrap to be his best friend, but he also has a close friendship with Optimus. Now I would like to mention two interesting facts about this awesome character. Rhinox is the only member of the Beast Wars Maximal lineup who was there from the beginning and remains alive and unchanged for the entire course of the show. And the other interesting fact is that Rhinox spent all of season 3 in robot mode without transforming into his beast mode at any point. He is the only beast war character to do this for an entire season. Now let's talk about the details of this figure. First of all we're gonna start with the chain guns of doom which is uh, these two right here. And as you can see they do have a lot of details sculpted right into the plastic mode and they have been very well designed. They have a gimmick that can be activated right here, it's very simple to activate, you just push this down and that will make the, the guns rotate or spin around very very fast which is a very nice gimmick again all of the details applied to this, uh, these two guns I really like them now this section right here can be folded and I believe this is once you transform this guy into his beast mode because they can be attached uh, somewhere in his body but we'll get to see that later on the transformation now I'm going to set these guns aside and I'm going to bring this figure closer to the camera. And here we have Rhinox, which is a very nice representation of the figure or the character that was portrayed in the Transformer Beast War series. It definitely looks like almost 100% like the one that we saw on the TV screen. Now he does have a lot of details. This is the backside view. As you can see he does have this uh, backpack which is pretty much the face of his beast mode. Which, uh, it does have a lot of details too, but I will show you that later on once he's transformed into his beast mode. Now, let's turn this figure around and we can see all of the colors applied to this figure are very nice. In my opinion, this one looks better than the one that Takara has released because this section right here looks darker. Now, on the chest uh, compartment, we can see half of the mouth and we can see all of the details sculpted right into it. I'm very very glad that they released this figure and especially that they made a new uh, mold for it you know it's just awesome now the head sculpt is fantastic I definitely like it and as you can see he does have two maximal symbols right here on each side of his head which is very nice now I'm gonna set this figure here for a second now on a side note this particular figure has an issue and is with one of the legs as you can see it is very loose compared to the other one. This one is very tight but this one as you can see it, it doesn't hold properly. I know it can be fixed this section right here I can probably fix it with some nail polishing uh, but I just want to make a note of it and I know for what I've been reading on the post on the on Facebook and other uh, transformer sites that this is not the first figure that comes like this. Now let's talk about the articulation of this character. Let's start with the head sculpt like I mentioned before it's a very nice head sculpt I definitely like it it can be moved up and down and it can be rotated 360 degrees his arms they're not on a ball joint they're 
they have a pin right here but they can be moved up and down to the sides and they can be rotated 360 degrees without any issues it does have elbow articulation which is a very nice uh, feature now the hands cannot be moved or rotated or anything they are not articulated at all let's see the articulation for the waist it is uh, it is something different because it can be moved to the sides and I guess it can be probably rotated 360 degrees maybe for the transformation purposes now the legs are also uh, on a, a ratchet or seems like a ratchet and this leg this particular leg right here the left one on my figure is very tight as you can see it can be moved to the side to the front and back it does have a nice knee articulation right here so this figure is very possible now to the other leg this one is a little bit loose and I'm gonna try to get it fixed as soon as I can now this leg also has a swivel right here as you can see it can be rotated 360 degrees and the robot feet are mm, not articulated or barely articulated now the backpack of this figure sometimes might become a little bit of an issue if you're standing up this figure especially if you have a loose leg like mine and here for a size comparison I have the figure Ultra Mammoth from the Transformers Collectors Club and I am very excited that I get to add this figure right next to my collection because this is my very first Transformers Beast Wars figures I get now as you can see the size difference is very noticeable we have here uh, figures front to front now let's uh, rotate them around so you can see the backside view of both figures and I am very impressed with these two particular figures like I say I never collected any Beast Wars figures before and I am very glad that they actually released this figure on a brand new mold now let's get Ultra Mammoth out of the way and here we have Rhinox next to the Transformers Generations Grimlock again size difference is very noticeable if I could change anything about this figure I would have made it a little bit bigger maybe the size of Grimlock now let's move it front to front as you can see the size difference is very noticeable now let's rotate him around so you can see the backside view now I am very impressed with the figure Rhinox and all of the details it has now let's bring another Transformers figure for a size comparison and here we have Rhinox next to the Transformers Prime figure Charticon Megatron which is a very colorful figure now let's move him from to front as you can see the size difference is very noticeable but these two are considered a Voyager class figure now let's rotate them around so you can see the backside view of both of these figures now let's move them back to the front and here for another size comparison we have the Fall Cybertron figure Ultra Magnus and I know that these two characters might not be related but I still would like to bring it so you have a better idea of the size of Rhinox this is what they look like front to front now let's get Ultra Magnus out of the way and now here we have Rhinox next to the Botcom exclusive figure Sunstorm which is a seeker and as you can see the size difference is noticeable now Rhinox looks a little bit bigger of course let's turn them around and I definitely like these two figures now let's get Sunstorm out of the way and here for a final size comparison I have the KO version of the Shattered Glass Optimus Prime figure now as you can see Rhinox is maybe about the same size or just a bit shorter than Optimus Prime so you have a better idea what he looks like right next to a classic Optimus Prime figure again this is a KO version now let's rotate them around this is what they both look like from the backside view now let's bring it back to the front view and now let's get this figure transformed into his beast mode and now before we transform this figure into his beast mode I want to make a note about the guns and is that if you drop this gun right here it's gonna separate this section as you can see because I just did that and I didn't know that it wasn't fully attached so be careful with this section because it could be easily lost also this figure has two uh, peg holes right here on both of, uh, both of his shoulders and you can store uh, both of his weapons right here if you want so he doesn't necessarily have to carry the weapons on his hands as you can see now this might be an issue especially if your figure has a loose uh, leg 
because it will make it too heavy and it will fall backwards. Now, let's get this figure transformed into its beast mode. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna straight down his arms just like so. And I'm gonna rotate this figure around and I'm gonna fold this up all the way, just like so. And we're gonna fold this section right here, the chest, uh, chest section or the mouth of this uh, figure. And we're gonna fold this up. Now I'm gonna fold all this section up. Now, transformation for this figure might be just a little bit complex. Uh, it does have a lot of folding and a lot of panels going, going on. Now this section right here on the head, as you can see, it does have a little hole right here. And there's a peg here, I don't know if the camera can catch that detail right here. So make sure that this goes all the way up properly because it has to attach perfectly so that way it secures the head. If not, it might give you a headache because once you transform this guy and if this section is not secure, it's going to be flopping around everywhere. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this section right here and we're going to fold in his, uh, his hands. We'll do the exact same thing right over here. Now we're going to fold this in, we're going to close this down and we're going to rotate this around towards the front and we're going to push this in just like so. And this is just to secure the arms of his beast mode. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this up and move him this way just like so. And we're going to leave him just like so for now. Now the other section is uh, we're going to open this panel up. We're going to leave it open just like this for now. Now on the legs, first thing is that this panel right here, we're going to fold it back right here. Let me show you real quick this section right here. And we'll do the same over here. I'm going to fold this down. I'm going to fold this up, the feet. And now the hip section, we're going to rotate it 180 degrees, just like so. Now, the part right here of the panel might be just a little bit complicated, but you have to fold it all the way up, just like so. Do the same over here. I'm going to fold this all the way up. And now we're going to push this towards the front. And this panel right here has to be attached to this section right here. I'll do the exact same thing over here. Now, make sure that the leg is in a proper place. Now, this back panel right here, this section is entirely made out of soft rubber. So it's the horn and the ears, just so you know. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this down and we're gonna clip it in place just like so. It doesn't really make any noises or anything because this section is out of, made out of rubber. And again, the transformation process might be just a little bit complicated for some of you, but if you follow the instructions, you will have any issues with it. Now, as you can see, we have a flying rhino. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> now, the guns, these guns can be folded. Here we go. This gun can be folded this way and I'll do the same thing with the other one and now we're gonna attach them together this way now this uh, particular figure has a compartment in which you can put this gun right here and as you can see it will secure it let me do this properly now here we go I clip in and now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this panel down and make sure that it goes in properly without any issues. Now, all these panels might be a little bit tricky and complicated, but you will get used to it. Now, here we have the figure Rhinox transforming into his beast mode. And here we have Rhinox transforming into his beast mode. As you see, the transformation process was a little bit tricky, but if you follow the instructions all the way, you shouldn't have any issues. Now, I'm going to rotate this figure around so you can see better some of the details, and I'm going to bring it closer to the camera. I really like this figure. Like I said, this is a brand new mold that was designed for this uh, generation's Rhinox. Uh, the head sculpt of this rhinoceros is very nice. It is kind of realistic. You can see the, the eyes and the nose and... Uh, the mouth is articulated, it can be opened, a wide range of articulation right here. And as you can see inside the mouth we have more details applied to the plastic, like we have all of the teeth that have been applied or sculpted right into the plastic. And it is a very nice feature. 
Now the ears of this rhinoceros and uh, the horn right here is made out of a soft rubber. So it's this uh, panel right here as I mentioned before. All this section right here is made out of a soft rubber and everything else is just plastic. Now for articulation of this figure, uh, like I mentioned before, the mouth can be opened and he can also move his legs back and forth which is very nice because you can pose this figure like if he was just like ready to stomp somebody or attack somebody or if he was trying to run so articulation is not too bad once he transforms into his beast mode and here for a quick size comparison I have the reissue of the Insecticons like I mentioned before I do not own any Transformers Beast War figures and this is why I cannot compare to any of them but just so you have an idea of the size of this figure and this is a Voyager class uh, figure, Rhinox but as you can see, once he's transforming to his uh, beast mode it's not really that big as I was expecting it to be now I'm gonna get the Insecticons out of the way and this time we have Rhinox next to the Generations Armada Starscream that was also just released uh, this year as you can see the size difference is very noticeable but again this particular figure, Armada Starscream, is a small uh, deluxe class figure in my opinion now this is what they look like front to front and here we have Rhinox next to Doomlock and Krulllock from the Transformers Energy Online as you can see these two figures are very nice and they do transform into some kind of a robotic dinosaur this is the reason why I'm comparing it right next to Rhinox now the size difference is very obvious Rhinox has more mass than these two figures now let's turn them around so you can see better the backside view and this is what they look like from the top side view now let's move them back to the front and let's get these figures out of the way now let's compare Rhinox next to Alicon which is a third party transformer figure made by Impossible Toys as you can see the size difference is pretty obvious Alicon is a larger figure as you can see now let's move in the other way and uh, on a side note this figure right here is very nice I definitely like it and I only have one I wish that I had a few more of them and uh, they just had a sale on them on Big Buy Toy Store for 30 bucks and now we have Grimlock right next to Rhinox and they're both transforming to their beast mode As you can see Grimlock is a larger figure in his beast mode and in his robot mode this is what they look like from the top side view now let's rotate him around one more time let's put him front to front and the size difference is uh, it's very obvious as you can see now let's get Grimlock out of here and now that we have seen Rhinox transform into his beast mode his robot mode and his accessories all I have to say is that this figure was very well designed again this is a brand new mold for Rhinox and I am very happy that they are releasing this figure under the Generations line and hopefully we get to see more Transformers Beast War figures under this line and with this I conclude this Transformers video review for the figure Generation Rhinox this is Magnetar Prime, until next time if you like this Transformers video review you can subscribe to my YouTube channel Magnetar Prime or stop by my Facebook page Magnetar Prime Reviews this is Magnetar Prime, until next time